Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, we are going to learn about the 12 ways software testers think differently from others. All right, so let's get started. First of all, guys, this video is specially for the people who are QA fresher because you have to think uh, different. OK, if you want to become a great software tester, then you have to think different. And even if you have experience, I would suggest you to have a look around this uh, 12 tips that I'm basically presenting you in front of you, which has basically helped me a lot uh, to basically become a good, I would say, to a software tester. All right. So let's go one by one. First of all, Right. The first one, the first tip is guys uh, uh, is basically ability to listen. OK, so what exactly it means? So suppose uh, you are into a uh, meeting. OK, and here in the in that meeting, you are with uh, stakeholders or UI UX designers or product managers. They are giving you some of the requirements. OK, these are the requirements. These uh, so developer will make it and this is how you have to test it. So this is the product there. So what I have seen is if you are good at listening, then almost 70% of the time you will able to catch bugs because you are able to understand what exactly they are saying and you will able to understand the requirement and you will be able to correctly map that requirement to the test cases. So that's really, really important for you guys to listen. So I would suggest don't uh, if you have any doubt or anything or a concern, note it down somewhere in your notepad, but don't ask immediately because whenever you ask immediately, sometimes uh, you basically uh, are not able to listen properly. But I have seen so you can what you can do is listen them clearly and then ask the question and always I would suggest 70% of the time you should listen to the requirement because they are clear or because they have made this requirement, right? And you can always cross check. And when you have listened enough, then definitely you can basically give them a proper counter argument. OK, so this is really important, guys. Pay attention to listening. OK, uh, make sure you watch this video at 1.5x for better viewing purpose. OK, so let's move on to the tip number two, which is basically don't assume this is a really, really bad thing that I have seen, especially due to the freshers as well as uh, any experienced QA. OK, so I have told you this example many times. So uh, when I was testing an e-commerce website in one of the project, okay, and uh, there we assumed that this button was okay. I mean, it was uh, because of the requirement, but we have assumed, right? This is the probably the worst thing a software tester can do. Don't assume anything. If you have a doubt, you can raise a concern to the stakeholder or a PM that, okay, I don't know what is it. Please let me know. This is the correct way. Don't assume anything. And that bur that bug that we that button, right? Uh, basically. Uh, due to that button, we had some revenue losses also because that was not working and people were not uh, people were thinking that this website is not credible because it, the button is not working. Right. So pay attention to that. Uh, tip number two is basically I have told you many times, please have a learning attitude. OK, even right now I'm taking courses. OK, so I have uh, I generally take courses related to how to uh, improve uh, scalability, reliability, docker and other things. Right. So even with 10 years of experience, still I am taking the courses to learn something new. So make sure you don't stop your learning. If you're a manual tester, go with the automation. If you are an API tester, go with the advanced API testing. Uh, do it with, with frameworks and other things. OK, so make sure you do that. All right. Uh, tip number four. Uh, let me know, guys, if you are uh, if these tips are helping for you. Uh, I know it's a little theoretical concept, but this thing uh, will help you a lot. And this uh, whatever I'm uh, basically discussing with you, right? Nobody is right now on the market discussing this and you will learn after certain period, but uh, by making your mistakes. So I am giving you those tips with my mistakes. So it's always uh, it's basically, I mean, many wise people say that, right? Learn from other mistakes. So these are my mistakes and these are the tips that I'm giving you. Uh, tip number five, uh, tip number four is basically always ask why, why and how. Basically what you are doing, why we are doing this. You can ask the state question with the stakeholders, UI designers and PM. Why we are doing this, why we are basically creating this feature. Because when you are clear with the why, you are basically no, you are basically working as a user and quality assurance or a QA is nothing but a user who is using the app extensively. That's it. Okay. You will get more clarity over the topic. So that's why where it is really important. Okay. Uh, 
so tip number 5 let's move on to tip number 5 which is logics uh, you have to basically think about extremely logical i'll give, give you one scenario okay so for example somebody has given you a login page and they basically told you to give them a test cases generally what i have seen is 90% of the people generally give you that okay i'll go with the invalid cases i will go with the valid cases and that's it but what about the cases where there is no internet what happens if there is a api request fails what happens if there is a wrong headers are coming what happens if submit button uh, is giving you some error or it's not working in some browse different browsers right so those thing you need to take care this is actually called as critical thinking or a logical thinking so you have to improve it and how you will improve it i would suggest you to do some sudoku right uh, where your mind is basically working a lot okay so these activities generally help and for me uh, mostly playing games also helps okay so this is another thing all right let's move on to the tip number 6 guys which is basically uh, you can use uh, this technique which is called as risk of failure always ask your stakeholder pm whoever or a developer what happens if this is failing if doesn't work what will happen so you will know what is the end case for this i mean if nothing is work, not working what will happen to this right so you by using this technique you will be able to find more important test cases which may uh, which probably you are going to miss so make sure you that uh, tip number 5 is basically think like this that you have to break the functionality okay whenever you think about this uh, what will happen is uh, think about as a user perspective how i can break this scenario for example suppose i am working in a manage uh, banking management and i am transferring some money right what if i uh, what if i have spent all my money then i am transferring all these breaking changes or breaking test cases you have to keep on doing it okay i know it's a little theoretical but trust me it will help you a lot all right let's move on to the tip number 9 which is basically observe people observe the developer observe their prs observe their logical thinkings so one of the technique which has helped me a lot is basically observing the uh, pull request or a code written by developers basically i uh, i basically generally what i do is uh, uh i'll get the pr from the developers i grow uh, i'll just go through it all of them and i'll see what are the logic they have applied and what where it can go wrong and there i have prepared my test cases and trust me that uh, i have found many many important bugs due to that so make sure you try uh give it a try also this okay so tip number 10 is basically they break down everything so yes a great software tester they break down everything they basically go module by modules and prepare the test cases and do that okay tip number 11 is document everything guys in startup in mmnc people will say you don't create a test plan don't create test strategy don't create test cases no there is no requirement but whenever there is a bug people will ask you this document so make sure you are uh, creating test plan test cases and bug report all the videos are available this mind map is also available in the description you can download it and watch this video two videos of how why it is mandatory to create a test plan and how to write a effective bug report which is a really important skill for a software testers okay even as a fresher tip 11 Uh, tip 12 which is a bonus for you is basically uh, i think this is a uh, repetitive but uh, you got the point right they break down everything in break down everything i'll just add one one more line what do you mean by break down everything is uh, you whenever you have requirements right make sure with one requirement you create certain number of test cases and attach them okay so that you will have a proper mapping of which requirement i have covered how many number of test cases and this will help you to present to stakeholders as well as pm all right so i hope this uh, tips will help you a lot and uh, these are my 12 ways to software testing think differently thanks a lot for watching and please make sure guys please subscribe to the video uh, so that i can create lots of awesome videos like this i'll see you in the next video bye